So I would separate that in two categories. One is identity, what you identify with, which ideally moves more and more towards I'm already whole, I'm already perfect, I'm already complete, I'm already balanced. So that's what you identify with. But what you're what you focus on, and of course you have to focus on what you identify with in order to become identified with it. So some of your focus should be on, I'm already whole, I'm already complete. That should be your focus. It should be your identity, the baseline from which you, from where you see the world. So it should be your identity. But when there's a process that arises or some trauma or imbalance to look into, it's about not identifying with the balance, but allowing for that wisdom and that insight to come from those experiences. Ideally, without it distracting or swaying you away from your place of conviction. But if you're really convinced of that identity, then you also don't need to necessarily avoid the process. Unless it's just you're too caught up in it and your, your vibration is just getting heavier and heavier, then you need to focus on something else to like uplift yourself, get into lighter vibration, get more clarity, get more connected to how everything is already whole. But ideally, you're identified with being already complete, already balanced. And when these things come up, it's like a movie. So you can watch the movie when it's relevant. You don't have to watch it all the time. But when it comes up and it's something that comes up that comes up a lot, it might be worth investigating. But then you're doing it with your attention, but with an awareness that it's not what you are it's just kind of the work that you're doing like you're cleaning your room you're cleaning your street so that it's more accessible so you have to not yeah. trip over it every time you walk into your room if you pin your identity on what's appearing then you're going to kind of get lost in the problem you're going to take it too seriously yeah. now of course you got to be sincere if you want to get to the root of a repeating pattern or distortion you you want to have to actually clear it up that needs to be your desire otherwise you're just gonna not actually go to the core of it but that shouldn't be a heavy process necessarily it can be intense but not heavy if your identity is established and i'm already whole and i'm just paying attention to what's arising because i want to clean my room up yeah. then you have this balance that continues yeah, it's, to it's been heavy for Space. I think for you especially that's that's definitely good because yeah. you have a tendency to get um, heavy on things yeah. to get very intense on things yeah. so so for you specifically I, I would definitely recommend taking the lighter approach more often just cutting yourself some slack yeah. just like drifting floating up into that sort of just more connected less focused place and then start developing your identification with that place so that your identity becomes more rooted in that so that when a process arises you don't hammer down on it like it means everything it's just something you do on the side yeah. you do it sincerely just like when you clean up your room or like someone pays you to do a job it's something you do on the side but you do it sincerely you want to do it well but it doesn't have the same heaviness of yeah. it, it being it's your ownership become more fun now, actually. oh there you go good that's a good sign so see if you, because one thing that it could be also in you as a pattern would be something along the lines of, I'm going to seek out intense experiences to confirm the fact that I exist mm. and to confirm the aliveness of the universe and to confirm the mystery and the intelligence that is everywhere. So I'm going, I'm going to stumble upon that realization through really intense physical or emotional experiences. That makes, that makes sense, you know, <coughs> since I was a little kid, I got a lot of like, a lot of body. So see if you can find that confirmation in a much more gentle way. Yeah. If you can allow it to be just as it is, just to allow it to be light, allow it to be, allow it yourself to feel this sense of aliveness and this juice and this existence just by sitting here in a chair. Yeah. and watch your own pattern of seeking it out in an intense catalytic way you don't have to do that it's fine if you're kind of hardwired that way and you'll have a unique yeah, life experience but Maybe yeah to see that your own patterns will never stop themselves yeah. is a great yeah. awakener and then allows yeah, you to stop so, it so when... cool yeah so take it easy on yourself dude 
don't be so don't be so intense you don't have to be intense on everything to feel alive there's other ways subtler ways and they're always available they're not dependent on ice baths or motocross or you know and then more and more you'll feel alive and it'll replace the need for physical carnal confirmation of intensity and then you can still have an intense lifestyle if that's what you like to do but it won't come from needing it in that way because what we're all seeking is source right or life itself so we start recognizing it more often just whenever wherever it doesn't matter what's happening then our our needs for it to be found in certain ways it starts to soften and soften there's more equilibrium more joy more natural connection 